SynStats is a new generation statistical module designed to make the analysis of results simple and easy to use and interpret. The SynStats module fits seamlessly alongside the Protocol 3 colony counting and zone measuring software. The SynStats interface follows the methods and procedures of the Protocol 3, making each step of the analysis a seamless transition from image capture to results output. With SynStats, the user no longer needs to use any third-party or non-compatible standalone software to produce statistical treatments. It's designed for use with all the most commonly used pharmacopoeia methods, such as EP and USP, which is suitable for use in a 21 CFR Part 11 environment. The module has an impressive list of features, making it a very powerful package and extends the use of protocol. The following demonstrates the steps needed to perform a biological assay using a Latin square layout, based on a worked example from the European Pharmacopoeia 5.3. Log in to the Protocol 3 software. Before a statistical analysis can be performed, a library of layouts needs to be created. The layouts are created by selecting Layouts on the Statistics tab. The layouts available in the SynStat software are based on those from the major pharmacopoeias and include 5 plus 1 assay, randomized block, circular, completely randomized. Latin square will be used for this worked example. Once the layout is selected, the size can be set. The size is picked from the drop-down list. This example uses 6 by 6. The Latin square can now be populated in three ways by auto-generating and clicking Generate Layout, by manually entering numbers or by importing an existing design via CSV files. Once the layout is populated, enter a layout name and click Save. The saved layout will appear in a list under Layouts. After completing and saving the layout, an assay design needs to be created. The assay design enables the user to enter the following only values relevant to the plate can be selected. Statistics model, parallel line or slope ratio. Dose count, the number of dilutions performed on the standard and unknown. Plate count, how many plates in the assay. Dose ratio, ratio between dilutions. Unknown count, number of unknowns in the assay. Only values relevant to the plate can be selected. The assay design for this example uses the parallel line assay, a dose count of 3 on 1 plate using a dose ratio of 0.667 and an unknown count of 1. The assay details are also entered. This refers to which dose is assigned to which number on the plate layout. Name the assay design and then save. The assay design will now appear in the assay design list. The plate layout and assay designs are stored as a library and can be selected whenever they're required. Close all the stats dialog boxes. After the assay has been plated out and the assays incubated, the zones can be measured. Place the plate on the plate holder. Adjust the exposure to obtain an image with enough contrast to visualize the zone clearly. Create a batch for your assays by selecting New Batch and select Inhibition Zones and follow the Inhibition Batch Setup Quick Guide. Ensure the Statistics module is enabled and then save the batch. Press Measure Plate and assign a plate measurement to an assay run. Click Assay Run. This will allow you to select a layout and assay design from the library of lists previously created. Pre-dilutions are entered at this time by selecting the Pre-dilutions tab. Select Standard, then add and enter any pre-dilutions. Repeat this for the unknown. For this example, the pre-dilutions are as shown. Give the assay a name and click Save. The assay will then appear in the list of assay runs. Now close the window. Finally, assign the assay run to the plate layout by selecting the assay run and the desired plate layout and click Assign. When all of the plates in an assay have been measured, the statistics report can be viewed by clicking on the Results tab and Create a Report. Highlight Statistics and click Setup Statistical Analysis. 
Select the assay run from the drop-down list and run statistical analysis. Review the results. The results will appear in a table of standards and unknowns unscrambled as directed in the assay design. The ANOVA table can be viewed by clicking the ANOVA tab. The potency of the unknown is displayed under the Results tab. Any values which appear suspicious will be highlighted yellow, and any values which vary greatly from the other values will be highlighted red. The user is then given an option to replace these values. The replacement value calculation is determined by the USP or EP. The value obtained depends on a number of factors, including position on plate and potency of test solution. Any changed values will appear highlighted green. The original result can be restored by clicking Restore Value. Once the user has reviewed their results and made any changes, the reports are generated in either Excel or OpenOffice.